which, okay. So then this kind of leads me to the next question that I want to ask. And this is where I think it's, it's a difficult one to bring up because people don't like to talk about it. So what's really common for me to see on a woman's profile, on an online dating profile, this happens everywhere. This is just an example, is please be over six foot. <laughs> I see this a lot. Is anyone surprised by that? Okay. I like that. Now, <laughs> I have a <laughs> right off, off the podcast. Um, I was going to say, <laughs> and how do you feel about that? Yeah, I guess. yeah no, I'm only five eight. Crap. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the thing is, I, I've got male clients too, and 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 my my male clients aren't always that well calibrated, right? But if a male client writes in his profile, no overweight women, he'll be banned off of the dating app really quickly. Yep. Because women will complain about his profile yeah. and then he'll be removed. Which leads me to this, the, the question that I want to ask is, are we in a situation where men aren't allowed to vocalize their preferences in dating and women are? I would say so. There's a huge double standard there. Massive, massive double standard. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it with that for now. <laughs> Sorry. No, because women could be tall and look at the same way. They um okay. We have short women. Okay, excuse my language when I say short, you know, I don't know if I should say <laughs> okay. no, petite, I don't know if I... petite. Petite. Yeah, petite or height. Petite challenge. should be like But notice we even <laughs> we joke about it, but it's real, right? It's like, like wait, have I I'm offended someone? Because petite is yeah. then this, you know, like yeah, <laughs> wit wise. But like it's the <sighs> Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. like the yeah. smaller women and the... I love that we just have to have that conversation. <laughs> but isn't that just indicative, right? I know, like this... Yeah. But, 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 a, but a man can't change his height. A woman can change her weight. She can change her weight, though. True. Mm. Yeah, but some of it some of it could be health... Um, um, Health-wise could affect them and make them get... How do I explain? I'm trying to really explain this without like using you could have words. some sort of condition or something. Yeah, or could condition because yeah, could make so, with yeah, could stop ability. someone from like being able to lose weight or not. So that's different. You can't say think it in your head. Just keep it to yourself. You don't have to just. Bleh. But 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 what I'm saying is it's it's okay. Like in polite company, a woman can say, "Yeah, I generally prefer guys over six foot." A guy can't say, "Yeah, I prefer women who are slim," without looking like a dick. I think I women would. don't also say, but women don't also say I prefer a, um, um, a guy that isn't fat. Mm. We don't say that either. So why would you be able to say that? Oh, yeah. I think that's something that sort of came to my mind was I think there's a sort of a hierarchy of what's okay to actually discriminate against yeah. with different people. Uh, certainly, you know, racism, race is right at the top. You know, you can't say... You know, you would prefer someone of one race over another. Yeah. Mm. Weight and that sort of stuff is probably a little bit down. Uh, then you've probably got, I don't know, height and hair colour and those sort of things. So it's, I think it sort of goes along with what's okay to sort of, sort of judge. And you could maybe put that on, on a shame in, spectrum. There's more shame about yeah. weight than height. Mm. So, right. Mm. But... I think it's also a, like a bit of an issue with tact. Like you can't say no fatties. Like that's just not great that's to say. Yeah, true language. Yeah. yeah. So overweight might be a little bit triggering, but you could say you could spin it and say I prefer someone with um, with an athletic Odd physique yeah. or um, someone who lives yeah. an active lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, these sort of yes. you know more PC yeah. ways of phrasing things that actually sound inviting yeah. um, mm -hmm. rather than I don't want this. Yeah. And I agree, but then we're playing with language. Oh, because I still, th I mean, Charlene and I go to a party and Charlene says, you know what, I'd like to find a guy, right? But I I'd like him to be in good shape. Yeah. That's more okay. Somehow it feels like if I go, ah, but I still wanted to be in shape. It still feels like I'm apologizing for wanting the woman to be in good shape. Yeah. I don't know. Do you agree? Would you feel that at a party if a woman vocalized that versus a guy? Yeah, uh, the, yeah the issue of vocalizing is, um, yeah, is a big one. It's easier for a woman to say. Yeah. It's a bit more difficult for a man to say, but I think it's just assumed that, you know, you see a guy wants to get the hottest person they can and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, 
Yeah, because it's, it's not, I don't think, that, I, I guess I should say, I don't think there's any, does anyone here think there's anything wrong with having the tastes? Race, shape, height, no, no. any of that stuff. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, we're meant to have them. Um, so, yeah, I'm not shaming women for preferring a taller guy or any of that stuff either. I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with it. Um, if I match with a woman on online dating and she's taller than me, I'll often say, by the way, before we meet, I'm this height. doesn't matter to me, but if it matters to you, yeah. I don't want to waste anyone's time, right? Yeah. So I'll still do that. Um, yeah, I, why do you think we're at that point? Because there's a reason. If we're at a point where men feeling like it's risky to say it, because I know a lot of people want to jump down and go, oh, well, women are just trying to have yeah. get guys. I don't think women are, there's any conspiracy against guys either. Yeah. But I think there's a reason. Why? What do you think led us to the point where we're now, men have to feel so much more guarded about having vocalising stuff about women? I think it's this whole idea of, you know, privilege. So it's that idea of, you know, toxic masculinity. So with femininity, like, oh, sorry, not femininity, uh, feminism, um, this is kind of that it's swung to so far of an extreme that men aren't allowed to speak about things anymore. Um, otherwise, you know, you're terrible, you're this, you're that, see, I was blah, blah, blah. And it comes from this place of feeling like you're not on equal footing, you're unequal, all of that sort of stuff. You have no power. So when a man is saying, I want someone who's slim, um, it feels like an attack or it feels like domination. Um, I don't agree with that, but I can imagine that's one place where it's coming from. So I'm interested, Rob, to get your... So I, my initial response when guys were like, no, because of my career, was one of annoyance. Right? Not because I can't get people on the show, but I felt a little sense of annoyance is that if more men pander to that, then we get locked in this situation. Right? I felt that a little bit. Like I felt a little bit of a sense of um, I will always want to vocalize what I actually think and feel. Right? And the people that matter know me well enough that I'm not because I'm not being offensive. I don't think the what's sitting behind whatever I'm thinking about women or whatever I'm expressing is should be offensive, if that makes sense. Um, I forgot why I was like isolating you, Rob, but really what I was kind of saying, well, really what I was saying is, do you agree with that notion? As a guy, do you think like it's better that more guys just, just mm, I don't know that many examples of guys who have actually lost jobs because of something like that. I know we hear the horror stories, but I don't know that that happens as often as we think it does. And I'm just wondering what your thought is because we don't know each other that well. And I don't know what your view on, on that idea is. I don't, I, I, do you think that we're making more of a deal of it than there needs to be? Because I know a lot of guys are afraid of it. But I, I don't actually know anyone personally to whom that's happened. For one, yes, I think it's completely fine for us to have our own preferences. And I think it is perfectly okay to voice your preferences. Mm -hmm. And I think it's how you do it is probably the most important aspect to it. Um, like there's a big range for how you voice what you want and what you don't want. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying before, no fatties. <laughs> it's but terrible, I, it's absolutely terrible. Yeah, like yeah. I, you know, certainly you, someone who does that could be judged pretty fairly for that and say, you know, they may not be a good person and there could be some sort of re repercussions that come from that. Um, but yeah, there are different and better ways to sort of, yeah, voice, voice what you want and don't want, I think. Yeah. And I guess maybe it comes down to shame. Like if you're trying to make someone feel bad for it is different from having a taste, isn't it? Yes. Um, Cause I have, I've, I've occasionally seen women talk about height in a derogatory way. Yeah, right. I've seen, I've seen that, seen, right? Seen it all over. Yeah, I've seen that before. But it's not the common, it's not the norm, but I've seen it happen. And when that happens, as a guy, I'm like, ooh, mm. yeesh, right? But normally speaking, if a woman just says in her profile, I'm like, yeah, fair enough. She's, she's like 5'10". Of course, she's going to want a guy who's a couple of inches. You know what I mean? Like, it's a very, yeah. And I guess that's, that's true. Like, if you say no fatties, that'd be rude. If you say no manlings, manlets, right? That'd be rude too, right? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Big Bang Theory, hum, uh, homunculus. homunculus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I get the same thing for my hair colour. Um, so, so I see and hear terrible things about uh, men with red hair. Uh, words that are used like ranger or uh, ginger. I've had people, women walk past and say, you are ginger. 
Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's wow. like people are not aware of these things because yeah. there's not that many of us with red hair to yeah. actually create sort of give a voice to, to those sort of things. Mm. Um, but if it was someone said, you know, look, I'm actually not that into people with red hair, then I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, but if they're using, you know, terrible language or if they're doing it in a mean way, uh, mm. you know, that can really affect you. Um, yeah, so there's a, a difference in delivery, I think. Yeah, that's that's quite outwardly rude, isn't it? Like that should just not be okay with either gender doing that. 